Now I've sold real estate here in Las Vegas for 20 years. I've seen some amazing homes. I've seen some sensational pools. But let me tell you, nothing, and I mean nothing, can prepare you for this million dollar backyard pool oasis. So stay tuned for this next episode of Baller Homes. Okay, first things first, let's get some basics out of the way. Now I love the entrance to this home because it's so innocuous and unassuming and quiet. I love this about it. Now this home is just under 6,000 square feet, five bedrooms, two bonus rooms, two lofts. It's a beast of a home, but nothing can prepare you for what's lurking behind us in this backyard. It's amazing. Now, this is in a guard gated community. And if you know Las Vegas real estate, you know that the lots tend to be pretty small. This in particular is the anomaly of all anomalies. It's on 1.3 acres of land and they haven't even used all the land. That's what's crazy. So now let's get to it and check out this courtyard entry. Welcome to the courtyard entry, which I absolutely love. Now to your right are stairs that lead upstairs to the casita. Over here to your left is the office that leads out to the courtyard, which has an amazing view, which we're deliberately not gonna show you till we get to the backyard pool. Now over here to your left, this is actually gonna be a formal living space and everything in this home manages to open up so you have that indoor outdoor living that everyone loves. Without further ado, let's go check out the inside of the home. Now we are inside the property and this is the foyer area, which is absolutely sensational. Now below me, we have a marble laid inlay surrounded by ceramic tile, which then leads into the wood flooring of the house. Above me, we have a lovely chandelier with poplar wood beams and then this beautiful tile that mimics wood for the ceiling amazing just freaks me out standing underneath here so i hope he did a really good job with that now let's move along in the house now as we come over into this area this area over here is the formal living room so this formal living room has a beautiful two-tiered chandelier metallic wallpaper in the ceiling and as you can see this blows out into the courtyard area and then there's another french door over to your right which actually opens up to the courtyard entrance of the home that we saw earlier now coming along this way now we walk down the hallway going towards the kitchen and family room area now immediately to your left right here this is going to be the formal dining room area this is actually a tortoise shell wallpaper it's sensational in person very beautiful very elegant you got the coffered ceiling with the uh, crown molding, lovely chandelier, everything here looks fantastic. Now we're gonna move over into the kitchen area. Now in the kitchen, we have statuary countertops. Looks like Carrera, looks like Calcutta, but it's actually statutory. Statuary, statutory is something completely different. You need to talk to R. Kelly about that. This is statuary. So we have the statuary countertops. This is kind of neat. You have a self-rising electrical outlet on both sides for convenience and look, love that. You have these great hurricane uh, light features. The cabinets have three different colors throughout this kitchen. Um, now over here, you have a hidden doggy door. So kind of neat for the little guy, which actually goes right into this wonderful, huge dog room they created. Now, while you have the statuary countertops on the double islands, you also have a different quartz that runs around the actual you know, kitchen area surfaces for prep. All the sinks are Blanco throughout the house. Over here, you have lovely cabinets. Everything's been cased in. You got a 48 inch uh, commercial vent hood along with a 48 inch double oven, fantastic. If you wanna stay kosher, got you right here. Now, let's talk refrigerators. You got dual 30 inch refrigerators. This house actually has nine refrigerators. So no matter how thirsty you are, there's probably a refrigerator within reach. Uh, I forgot to mention over by the dishwasher, we have the double dishwashers, the KitchenAid, which you know used to be Fisher PayCal, but fantastic. Um, coming over into this area over here, I mean, I told you, we got, we got refrigerators for days. You have a little wine refrigerator here. All right, coming over in this direction, this is the family room. Uh, love this family room area. You still have the 10 foot high ceilings. You come over, we have the television. This is one of three fireplaces. We have sliding French doors over here to your left. But what's amazing is we have a 15 foot slider 
that is actually set up as a pocket door. And this leads you to the indoor outdoor living space, which we will see later because that leads to the pool. That's what you really wanna see. Down this hallway, we have some ancillary bedrooms, but first I wanna show you, I love this. Now the owner calls this coffee contemporary and I thought it was super clever, but I absolutely love the shower glass door. Tell me, what do you guys think? Do you like this? I love it. Love the subway tile, love the way it integrates with this glass. All of the counter surfaces in every bathroom are marble. That's great. Over here, we have another bedroom that's set up as an office. So this is a little more male oriented office. This also goes right into the bathroom we just saw for the coffee contemporary. Now, right here, this is the movie theater. Here we are inside the movie theater and we have six movie chairs. We have a 103 inch screen and a wonderful projector. And we have 7.2 surround sound. So great for a movie theater, tons of fun for movie night. Okay, now that we've seen the movie theater, let's keep going down the hallway. Now, this used to be the laundry room, but instead of having it out of, and so far away from the master area, the owner decided to convert this into a mud room. So as you can tell, it's a very spacious, wonderful place to come in, take your shoes off, get ready to relax before you settle in for the night. Now, we're gonna head down back towards the front door, which leads us to the office. Oh wait, I forgot one of the coolest things. This right here, not a normal door, there's your giveaway. This is an elevator. So whether you don't wanna lift something heavy up the stairs or you're getting a little old like me and uh, your knees are starting to go out, you can rock it. Two story homes for people with bad knees like me. Now we're gonna head towards the, uh, the main office. So before we get to this office, I gotta show you something. One of the coolest things in this house. Yeah, it's just crazy. So come on in. Now this powder bathroom, again, we have marble counter surfaces, but some people spend $10,000 on an entire bathroom, right? I mean, that's a pretty good bathroom. This, this right here, this is silk wallpaper. I shouldn't even touch this. This is silk wallpaper that costs $10,000. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here before anything happens. Okay, over here, this is a beautiful office. I love this office. So this is designed to be an office. We have custom built-ins. We have marble counter surfaces, lovely chandelier, the whole built-in bookcase. There's a television across that you can't see from this vantage point. We'll get some B-roll. And then of course we have the French doors that lead out towards the pool area and the front door, which is where we came in from earlier. Okay, now it's time for us to actually head upstairs and see what's going on in the master suite and the other secondary bedrooms. So as we go up these stairs, you can see this wallpaper. This wallpaper is actually made out of cork. So it's a cork wallpaper with a little metallic behind it. In person, it's very, very stunning. Okay, now here's one of the secondary bedrooms. Again, beautiful wallpaper, love the motif, integrates great with the floor, a little chandelier. And then over here, every bedroom has its own bathroom. So in this bathroom, again, we have new cabinetry, we have marble countertops, fantastic. All right, now we'll head down this direction. Now, as we come down here, originally this was built, this was an entire wall. As you may be able to tell, this is so much better. This just makes the entry so much more dramatic and beautiful and really showcases everything that you're paying this kind of money for. So they ripped out this wall, they put in the stainless steel beams for the banister. I think it looks fantastic. Now, first over here, we have another secondary bedroom. So again, very tastefully done. Uh, we have a nice little lovely chandelier. And of course, we have another bathroom. This bathroom, again, right in suite. So we have the marble countertops, everything matches. We're good to go, it's a bathroom. All right, now, before we get to this loft area, we're gonna check out this laundry room. Now remember, I told you earlier that the laundry room downstairs was removed so we could have a mud room. So this became the new laundry room. So it's near the master suite, it's near the bedrooms, it's a little more functional, and it has a great view of the driveway area and it just doesn't feel at all like you're actually in Las Vegas, so kind of neat. Now this area right here, this is set up to be a loft area, as you can see. This is where the owner's children kind of hang out, watch television, 
very far away from the master suite, very far away from the living space. So yeah, keep the kids at bay. Now, one of the really popular things, especially here in Las Vegas, is having additional living space. So this is a casita. Now, obviously this is part of the main dwelling since we just entered from the main dwelling, but because this is a casita, you got a little wine chiller, refrigerator, but what's neat is this right here, this door leads to a little balcony and then the stairs that we saw in the very beginning of the video, which is right by the front door. So if you've got guests in town that you know are gonna be staying out late that you maybe don't want coming in the main entry, they can have their own exterior access. So really, really cool. Now behind you is the bathroom for this casita. This bathroom, very simple, very nice. You got a herringbone tile, you got marble countertops, and of course you have the marble inlaid flooring. Looks fantastic. Now, let's go check out the master suite. Okay, as we saw earlier, this is the return for the elevator. Oh, seems a little locked. But in theory, this is the return for the elevator. Again, you can tell the giveaway right there. All right. Okay, now all the windows in this house, all the doorways are cased. This one right here is cased as well. This leads to the master quarters. Now this is kind of neat. These are custom barn doors that are made out of cast iron. They're self-closing, so they slow down. Maybe I don't need to be so harsh. <laughs> but anyways, here is the gym. Obviously you can tell it's set up to be a gym right now. Uh, the owners kind of left it a little bit open so that way future owners can either retain the gym, put up some mirrors, or do whatever is to their liking. Now, finally we hit the master suite. Lovely chandelier above us. Now we have the retreat area right here in the master. So again, we have quartz countertops, new cabinetry, we have the hidden refrigerator. We have the two-way fireplace. And I really love, 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 love the stacked marble. It's a nice custom touch. We'll do the bathroom and then we'll show you the master suite a little bit more. Now, this bathroom is absolutely sensational. So we have Carrera marble floors. We have an inlaid marble floor, which is like $200 a square foot. So you can imagine, you know, that's $10,000 or $2,000 right here, a lot. Um, we have wonderful quartz, smoked gray, uh, concrete gray countertops. We also have a backsplash that's Carrera marble. They removed all the recessed lining and replaced them with these chandeliers. Now this is beautiful. Um, Ashley, who's behind the camera, this was her favorite part. So we have a beautiful cast iron bathtub with the television and of course we have the accoutrements like the chandelier above. When we come over, we have the toilet. Again, Carrera marble floors that line into the shower, which is more marble. We have the rain shower head. Right in here, this is his closet. So a little bit smaller. And then as we pan around this area, we have a custom built-in closet for her. Now we're gonna flip around and we're gonna finish off with the master bedroom. Past the retreat, we have the master bedroom. So we have a television off to the side here. We have the coffered ceilings, the beautiful chrome and acrylic ceiling fan. And then look, you bought this house for this incredible backyard. So what would be better than to wake up in the morning and look at this, it's, it's amazing. So right here, we have the outdoor balcony, which has a complete panoramic view of this amazing pool, which we're about to show. Well, you know what? Why don't we just go downstairs right now and let me show you this pool because that's what you've been waiting to see, right? Let's check it out. Okay, this is the part you guys came to see. Now we're getting outdoors. This is the outdoor living space. So right behind me here, lovely outdoor living space. You got the television, the fireplace, the ceilings are 10 feet high. It's an unbelievable place to come out and enjoy this pool. Now, as we come around this side, for the chefs of the house and the fellas that like to grill, you have an amazing outdoor kitchen area. So I wish I could drink beer like I used to. Can't drink beer anymore. But you got a, a keg, a tap for a keg. You got the refrigerator, 48 inch grill, additional storage space, and then another grill top. So fantastic outdoor kitchen, right off the kitchen. Very, very easy. Now let's get to what you came here for. Now, this is amazing. And I have so much to tell you about this pool. So this is what they call the backyard because this comes right off the family room in the kitchen. Now, as we come over here, 
we have a lovely wet deck area. So this is where you throw your loungers, you can put an umbrella, get some shade, beautiful, wonderful. Obviously right here you have your jacuzzi spa, some cascading waterfalls, and then this is the beginning point of the Lazy River, which I'm gonna to talk to you about in a minute. Now this area right here, it could possibly be one of the coolest things. This is actually set up to be like a presentation stage area. So there's electrical wiring, and let's say you're having a soiree and you wanna have a DJ, any kind of performance. You can access this island from the bridge, or bridges, and then set up a whole DJ station and have a performance. It's amazing. Now let's keep it moving over this way. Now, as we go throughout this backyard, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about some of these features that are unique and amazing. Now, one of the things I will say is about this lazy river. There's only 12 homes in all of Las Vegas that have a lazy river, and of course this is one of them. But, of the 12 homes with lazy rivers, there's only four that actually have a lazy river, meaning they actually have a current. All of the other properties are an active river, you gotta swim through it. This one, I will explain in a little bit, is amazing. Now, as we come around this area, which is the side of the house, back over here, this is an amazing courtyard area. So again, you know, if you wanted to get some peace, you wanted to read, this is a wonderful area. It comes off of the family room. This is the formal living room that we saw when we came in from the courtyard entry. Just a wonderful shaded place. You know, great place to read a book, relax something other than hanging out and watching television. Now, as we come down this way, this was where we started. So over here, we have the entrance to the casita and the front door area. But, follow me on this one, we're going around, we're going around. This is what you came to see, right here. This is amazing. This is the waterfall area, but under this waterfall is a cave, and I guess it's pretty cool, so I'm gonna throw some trunks on and get in there. For right now, let's head up to the very top where the water slide is and a couple other neat things. So follow along. Now we're at the very top of the hill and this is the old entrance to the water slide. Now the water slide right now is 30 feet, but it used to be about 60 feet. But this trajectory was so fast that people would actually smash into the walls. A little bit of a liability and we don't need kids getting hurt out here. So. They've actually covered this up a little bit and now it's 30 feet, but they still have the original slide in the event that you wanna do some crazy dangerous stuff. Now, let's keep it moving and come down this way. Okay, so now here we are. This is an amazing putting green. Now this putting green actually is elevated over the entire pool. So this is an amazing view. You can survey your entire landscape. It's amazing. So work on your short game while you're also overlooking this amazing pool area. Now we have to go back this direction to go down. All right. Now we have another putting green area, but it's not really a green, but it's an awesome place to work on your short game. Sadly, I am very much not a golfer, but you have to see this. If you wanted to chip, work on your pitching wedge, this is amazing because this area right here, you can literally chip onto the island. So imagine if I were a good golfer and I could actually hit it, that would be amazing. In the meantime, let's keep it moving. So it's a little loud because we're near the waterfalls and the pumps, but behind me, this area houses some of the pumps. Now I was telling you before, this pool is 120,000 gallons, so it requires a tremendous amount of pumps and pressure. So behind us is one zone that contains four pumps. We're gonna keep moving this way. Now, this is another vantage point. Behind me is uh, an area that locates some of the pumps. Now, what I was telling you before is this pool has 120,000 gallons. So because it's so massive in size, it's like the size of six swimming pools, this has four commercial grade pumps, stuff that you would find on the Las Vegas Strip. Those four pumps are what actually power the Lazy River. So this actually creates a legitimate lazy river current, whereas the other eight lazy rivers in town are active rivers and you will have to swim through it. But this view over here, this is the shot. This is amazing. This is what you really wanna see. Now we're gonna go over the bridge and come to the final part of the pool, which is that island. Okay, so now we are standing on the island that I told you before was for performers. So this, this is the spot. 
This is where you could be performing. So we're gonna swing around a little bit so you can see the house behind me. And then of course our favorite spot right here. But again, this pool, you have no idea what kind of a size and magnitude of this pool. It's just absolutely enormous. So with that said, would you pay $5 million for this home? If so, what was your favorite part? Is it this amazing backyard pool? Was it the $10,000 silk wallpaper? You tell me, leave some comments in the section below. Now in the meantime, if you're looking to purchase luxury real estate or sell luxury real estate here in Las Vegas, be sure to contact me directly. All of my information is in the description section. And in the meantime, make sure you hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and thank you for watching another episode of Baller Homes.